All right, guys, this is Jernigan here. This guy, this guy does a lot of moaning in the Labour Party. It used to be Jeremy Corbyn did the moaning, but now it's this guy who's doing the moaning. And Boris Johnson's the concerted this guy's uh, Labour. I can't remember his name. But anyway. Doing the decent thing and this Prime Minister don't go together. This guy's this Labour does a lot of moaning. Summer. The government should have spent it preparing for the autumn and winter. Instead, they've lurched from crisis. And the Sun newspaper is. You turn to you, sir. To correct one error, even two might make sense. But when the government's notched up 12 U turns and rising, the only conclusion is serial incompetence. That serial incompetence is holding Britain back. Will the Prime Minister take responsibility and finally get a grip? I take full uh, responsibility for everything that has happened. That's Boris Johnson, the Conservative Prime Minister right of our country, in office. UK. And actually, what has happened so far is that we have succeeded in turning the tide of this pandemic. And in spite of, in spite of the, uh, the negativity and the constant sniping from the opposition, uh, we are seeing a country that is not only going back to school, but going back to work. Last week, the Financial Times published a list of the 12 government U-turns made under this Prime Minister, from the exam results fiasco to the contact tracing app. Uh, I see my gloves are on there. He's just said that he I takes think. full gloves. responsibility. So I wonder which of those 12 U-turns is the Prime Minister's favourite? Uh, it's, a, it's a rare privilege to ask a question in the House. You would have thought they could come on something better than that. Uh, I, 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 I really I have to. All I want to say to her is that this is a this is a this is a global pandemic that this government is dealing with extremely effectively at a medical level and what we want to do now is in a covid secure way not only get our children uh, back into school but as that's what's happening today in spite of the uh, i don't know where she's been on this on this question but in spite of the uh, the leader of the opposition and his colleagues and what we also want to do is get our country economy back on its feet again. Prime Minister will recall that before the recess, I asked him if he would meet the COVID-19 bereaved families for justice group. I had the privilege of meeting the families on the 15th of July. They gave me incredibly moving accounts of how COVID-19 had taken their loved ones from them. On Sky News last week, the Prime Minister was asked if he would meet the families. And he said, and I'll quote, of course I will meet the bereaved. Of course I will do that. But yesterday, they received a letter from the Prime Minister saying that meeting them was now, regrettably, not possible. The Prime Minister will understand the frustration and the hurt of those families that he said one thing to camera and another to them. Of course, I was very happy to meet uh, the families of the, uh, of the bereaved and I sympathise deeply with all those who have lost loved ones throughout this, this pandemic. And we all uh, feel their pain and and their grief. But it, it turns out that this particular group that uh, he refers to are currently in litigation against the government, and I will certainly meet them once that litigation is concluded. Well, there's the words what you said about that. But uh, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed it. And guys, thank you for joining me again, as per usual. I always I enjoy doing videos myself and helping people understand the world and trying to understand the world myself. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Peace.